What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another Vintage Cube Draft here on Magic the Gathering. Dot octopus. Ductopus, if you will. And, uh... Maybe the mouse is actually a little bit better. Maybe I'm just, uh... This seems a little better. It seems manageable now. Ooh, Primeval Titan. Is Primeval Titan the scariest card in this pack? Probably. Opposition's pretty scary. Ooh, we can go Opposition and, uh... Maybe this Primeval Titan comes back. It's never coming back. It's never... When I was watching your drafts last night, chat was telling you that you weren't following Civilization, which I thought you did a really good job with. I'm just saying if there's a better card for the deck in the pack, take the pick. Uh, oh, okay, see you, Shane. So basically, but it's like a dragon theme, right? It's either Primeval Titan or Opposition. I, I feel like those are the two. All right, this actually seems a little bit better. All right, it's got it's still getting a little hiccup every now and then, but I don't think it's huge, huge. Opposition actually might wheel. Like I see Opposition come back far more frequently than I'd expect. I think Primeval Titan might be stronger. But I'm also a big fan of the green deck. We, we do have an end of green a lot, but we also end up winning most of the green drafts we do because green is it's really good. I'm going to take prime time. Well, well, Magic, you really know how to push my buttons, don't you? Hmm. How do we feel about being a little more, a little less conventional here and taking this through the breach? I'm actually liking the through the breach here. I'm going to take through the breach, and you guys are going to have to deal with it. We're going to get a little breachy here, ladies and gentlemen. I think fast bond is trash outside of storm. Storm is the only deck. Storm and upheaval are the only decks you really want fast bond because you can either replay all your lands, um, or you can play all the lands you draw for like a time spiral. But uh, wow. Uh, okay. So what's better with what's better through the breach, Ulamog or Blightsteel? Ulamog will always make them sack four permanents. Blightsteel is pretty much terrible if they have any form of. Uh, if they even have a 2-2 two -two blocker. So. I am going to take... Oh, Angels, Demons, and Dragons. I forgot. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I forgot Callie was actually all three of those. Yeah, that's actually pretty sweet then. I'm going to take the Ulamog, 100%. Um, Garrick Primal Hunter. I remember there was actually a really sweet uh, cube draft we did where we played Seething Song into Goblin Dark Dwellers on turn three. And then we we Goblin Dark Dwellers to get the Seething Song back, and then we Seething Songed through the Breach and put Emrakul into play uh, on turn three, and it was pretty sweet. It was uh, it was pretty cool. I think it's either Primal Hunter or Dark Dwellers here. Actually, Ancient Grudge is probably pretty good. Gr Grudge is actually pretty good if we're actually... Yeah, I'm going to take it the Grudge. Sylvan Carry Added is nice. Ooh, Gruul Signet is nice. I think I think Carry Added is... If you're green, Carry Added is just better. Right? Like, it, it doesn't die to any of the artifact hate. Um, It can't be killed. Except for, like, a Wrath effect. Uh, Thrag Tusk? Thraggy Boy? Yeah, Thrag Tusk seems fine. Badlands? Recurring Nightmare. That's interesting. Oh, Thrag Daddy. Nightmare's pretty good. And Psytree also has a stipulation where it's just, if you get a Recurring Nightmare, you can play the card. Yeah, let's just try a Recurring Nightmare. Oh, this sucks there's a Badlands in this pack, though. Stomping Ground. All right. 
Nicely done. Thanks, Magic. Oh, Blacktop. Black Cleave Cliffs. Okay. The opposition did not come back, it looks like. That is unfortunate. That's life, I guess. <laughs> don't pl <laughs> don't play near the black top cliffs kids um well mm -hmm. uh i don't love vraska's contempt here because it's double black but the, al the alternative is like eidolon which sucks could just be vraska's contempt maybe we're just splashing the red yeah i like that Ooh, xenagos all right Yes, please. Oh, a sacred foundry. More like trash, sacred trash tree, trash tree. Oh, what's up, M Machink? Tell Holland I said hey. Like you do. Uh, mesmeric fiend never coming back. Mesmeric fiend on a one-way track. Uh, I'm gonna take the mesmeric fiend because I think we're heavier, much heavier black than red now. Badlands last pick, one time. Dang it. I don't even think it would have worked out that way. I don't even think it was like the eighth pick or whatever. Overgrown Tomb. Ooh, Raphelos. Ooh. Love you stream even during Christmas days. Parents in law are bo are boring. Nice. Nice. I accept that. I accept the I'm um, your escape from from the in laws. Stomping ground is a forest. Oh, I knew. I knew what you meant. I think it's Rafelos. Yeah, we're taking the Rafelos. He's just too good. Even if you like ramping, even if you have like two forests, like ramping two, two, two is really good. It's really good. pack is kind of not I wish this was a a taiga or a bayou I don't mind bone shredder kitchen finks is all right oh man me and you drew we were on the same page there buddy like just think of this as a sylvan carry added that can add two or three in great situations it's just totally fine Man, everybody's checking for steps. Good thing I updated that. Um, I think it's probably just Kitchen Finks. If we're playing Recurring Nightmare, Kitchen Finks is great. Mm, that's a good one. These are the two colors we are not. This pack's pretty bad for us. We could take Dark Ritual and just Dark Ritual through the Breach on turn three. Nailed it. Could be Scrubland. More adult subjects? Like what? What kind of adult subjects do we even tackle on this stream? That doesn't seem accurate. I kind of just want Dark Ritual, to be honest with you. I don't think it's great, but... Batter Skull, Ultimate Price, Necromancy. Hmm. 
Dreadbore also an option. We do talk a lot about Calzones. Actually, you guys talk a lot about Calzones, and I kind of just listen. Is it just Siege Gang Commander? It's all the farts. Wow. <laughs> well, they don't call me Frankel Farts for nothing, I guess. Necromancy is very good. Oh, Mana Confluence is actually pretty nice. I'm a big Mana Confluence fan. Especially when we only have two fixing lands. Blooming. Oh, Taiga. There it is. Nailed it. Never didn't have that Taiga. Copperline Gorge. Pulse is great. Yeah, I like Pulse. I like I like Arid Mesa a lot. We can get Taiga or Stomping Ground with it. And if we get any red black land. The Bayou's gone though. Yeah, I'm just gonna take Maelstrom Pulse. Him to Torok. We need some black lands, huh? I think this is better than Lightning Bolt. It's harder to cast, but yeah, like even if you cast it on like turn five and you're just like get a bunch of your things. What is he saying? I don't know. PNLR? Is it PNLR Inquisition? Vandal over him? What the, what the what Vandal was there? I'll take PNLR. I was actually hoping this arena came back. Did we take the Dark Ritual? We did take the Dark Ritual. Also Bone Shredder. I like Arena. Take Hell Rider, I guess. This deck's weird. Maybe we're just splashing green. I don't even think the green is like. What if we just cut the green? Nah, no, it's still red. There's only four red cards. Yeah, it's still cutting. Red's still our least. Siege Gang Commander. I like cards like Siege Gang because you do have a recurring nightmare. Like, I want to be able to recurring nightmare some things. Hope you guys didn't notice that that liquid dribbled down my lip. You did now. Run away on a runway track. Abrupt Decay comes back. That's pretty nice. I like you better than Shallow Grave. Lightning Strike. You're no Lightning Bolt, but... Wow, the Tendrils? Oh, some, some Storm player is in a sad state right now. Bingo! Got it. Hey, Frank, it's my birthday. However, I am a firm believer in spreading love. Series so 20 bucks towards a new mouse. Thank you for... Cassius, thank you so much, buddy. Have a happy birthday. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate the support. Thank you so much, dude. I hope you have a great birthday. Soul Ring is pretty solid. Did we get any other power? I don't think so, right? No, no other power, right? Just the Through the Breach. Which I don't even... I'm not even super impressed with this Through the Breach right now. I mean, if we can get Emrakul, 15 mana Emrakul, I'd be like, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I do like a Hissing Quagmire here. I do want some black lands so that we can actually play Rafelos and him to Torok. I wish, I wish the Overgrown Tomb came back, but it did not. So I'm just going to take Hissing Quagmire because we need it. Uh, it's not Metalworker. Could be Rakdos Signet, actually. I 
I like Polluted Delta, but we can't actually get anything with a Polluted Delta yet, so I'm pretty sure it's Rakdos Signet instead. I'm always a fan of Eureka, as you guys probably know. Scalding Tarn gets Stomping Ground and Taiga. I'm more concerned with getting a Black Source as well. Woodfall Primus is pretty... Actually, Woodfall Primus is great, right? Because you sacrifice it. Yeah, we're taking the Woodfall Primus. That's real nice. Um, Shut up and take my money. I wish this guy would rub some undies on his face. <laughs> wow, that's like two memes in one. Caspi, thanks so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. This is 22 cards. Um, I actually don't mind Primal Command just to be able to get one of these guys if we have Through the Breach. Nissa World Waker is real good, though. So this Hero's Downfall. We already have Maelstrom Pulse and Dreadbore, so... I don't think we're super needing those. We can also take out Ancient Guards because you have Abrupt Decay and Maelstrom Pulse for artifacts if those are problematic. I think it's just Nyssa. I'm just always impressed with Nyssa. Especially if we're just trying to hard cast things like this. I agree. Nyssa is much better than the other things. Oh, Assassin's Trophy. All right, so now we have access to Assassin's Trophy, Maelstrom Pulse, and Abrupt Decay. So we have all of the black-green really good removal cards um eternal witness seems always great the best thing is getting a tooth and playing tooth and nail and getting a witness back and then replaying it i'm just gonna get eternal witness because i think it's just way too versatile not to take i'm gonna take arena out for now we could we could through the breach of this guy into play uh it's not elspeth it's not definitely not exhume I think it's just Spyglass here. This pack is pretty mediocre. I don't think we need a, a Mizzy Mortars, especially when Black is our splash color. Can probably take out Siege Gang too, because Black is our splash color. Natural Order. We don't actually have a ton of green creatures. We have Kitchen Finks, Eternal Witness, Sylvan Carrion, and Rafellos. I guess we can make them with Xenagos. It's probably still too strong not to take, and I don't think it's cast down. Yeah, we'll take that. Huntmaster seems great. Elves of Deep Shadow actually seems very good as well. Oh, I like I kind of like elves here. We don't have any other elves, and being able to make a black for like a him to Torok or like one of our double black cards seems good. Progenitus. That's a natural order. Alright, Progenitus also with Through the Breach is still 10 damage. Alright, well. Well, none of these are very good. Genesis Wave seems fine, I guess. If we can make a million mana, sure. I really wish we had one black green land. All right, we need one cut here. Through the Breach, Genegos, and Dreadbore are only red cards, and we have Black Elite Cliffs, Taiga, and Stomping Ground for them. I think we just play Shieldred. Oh, Assassin's Trophy came back? Wow. Shut up and take my money. That is a surprise. Oh, Joker, I'm not sure if this is a very good deck critique, but I'm wanting to build the deck Nicobolus Ugin and Doubling Season. Not sure if you want to Oath of Nissa and Tron Lands to Um Anis Joker, let me know if you have email me and let me know if you have a deck list. Because usually I go off a deck list and then I tweak the deck list. But if um let me know just have, like, give me an outline on an email, just so I know. Because I don't want to just start from scratch and then not go in the right direction so just give me something to go with there um so i have well something to go with i guess for something much more excited about genesis wave with soul ring and rafellus than you are also could add heartbeat of spring. yeah i i'm afraid of heartbeat of spring though i i feel like that's a pretty scary card because usually you're gonna play heartbeat and then they're gonna get eight mana first i think trophy over decay is fine Still got two cuts to make. Is it because we picked up a late shoulder? Yeah, the shoulder was our twenty. Uh, the progenitus was our twenty fourth, and the shoulder was our twenty fifth. Probably take out Necrotal. I don't know if this is a recurring nightmare deck. I don't feel like this is a recurring nightmare deck. Maybe it is. We have shoulder and Woodfall Primus and Primeval Titan. Actually, maybe it's just maybe all decks are wood are recurring nightmare decks.
Good old Frank streaming Vintage Cube and not some shiny arena shite. Ugh. I could see cutting him as Mirak Fiend. He's pretty mediocre. And maybe we just played 16 lands. Because we already have Rafellos, Sylvan Carry added, Racto, Signet, Soaring, and Elve. I'm not sure if that's. That could be fine. Alright, so. Definitely don't want any mountains whatsoever. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go up to seven. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that's actually very good. Oh, we get one more. So right now this is one, two, three, four, five. Oh, what are you doing with these planes here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine green sources. Four, five, six, seven black sources. So we can add one more black. We'll just add one more black, one more green. And then we have we already have four red sources plus a Rakdos signet for three red cards, which is totally fine. And we don't have anything like uh, Sakura Tribe Elder that is gonna that's gonna find a basic forest for us. So I'm not too concerned with that. Because Primeval Titan can get both of our red sources. <sighs> yeah, the, the planes for the Kitchen Finks. A classic, classic Magic Online. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't want an island either. <laughs> oh, man. Good times. Good times. River thing in the Up tight. Out of sight. Thank you. Craig, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Merry Cube, miss. Oh, it's the best time of the year. It's the most wonderful cubeness of the year. This hand is extremely slow, but five lands, do we forsake it? Probably. Eh, this is fine. Keep you on top. This is this hand is not great, but Oh no. Oh no. We're dead. I do actually do remember that time when Progenitus we drew it literally every game. It was pretty brutal. Remember that time we had three red cards in our deck and two of them were in our opening hand? Pepperidge Farm remembers. You got it. Oh, that was a good hit. Kind of. And actually, a red land next turn lets us play him to Torok and red land. With this opening, we're taking 14 inches. are guaranteed 100%. 100,000%. Yep, that's a cool card. Oh, yeah, we're having a good time now. Actually, I have no idea how to beat that without... Uh... Well, we just got seven damage out of their hand. How do I get my text in the top of the screen? How do you mean? Yep. Pretty sure we're dead. We're taking like what? Two here, two here, two here. <laughs> oh, we're just gonna go to the next game. Yeah, we have nothing to do. Natural order would have been great if we had a guy. Probably going to bring in Abrupt Decay as well, just to deal with all these small guys. <coughs> God, every time, every stream, I feel like I sneeze at least once. Take out Shieldred. So our red sources are Black Cliff Cliffs, Mana Confluence, Stomping Ground, Taiga, uh, Sylvan Caryatid, and Rakdos Signet. Six red sources, three red cards, and we drew two of the red cards and zero of the red sources. Seems good. Seems good. Uh, we definitely didn't have two life off the Contempt because they had 
uh, sulfuric vortex, and we also didn't have a Thrag Tusk in hand, so <laughs> I don't actually know what you're referring to. Yeah, I guess language could be good. I'll take Nissa out. Nissa feels like she just dies on 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 site. Oh, oh, this is the hand, boys. Not only, yeah, not only can we not gain life, we didn't actually have Thrag Tusk. That was in our first hand, not our second hand, and we mulliganed that. It's the most wonderful Thrag Tusk of the year. If they don't kill her fellows. Just don't kill my Rafelos. That's all I ever wanted. Never. <gasps> Never didn't have it. Can't play this. Probably not playing. Actually, maybe we'll play Assassin's Trophy. I might want to ramp them just to prevent two here. This does get rid of... So my fear is that they're going to play Sulfuric Vortex and we're not going to have an answer for it. So I kind of want Assassin's Trophy for that. Because as long as we can resolve a Thrag Tusk, I think we're okay. Yeah, that dude's obnoxious. Hitting a Languish would be great. Okay, so Thrag Tusk is online if we can untap. Which is a tall order. They could go Lightning Bolt, Lightning Bolt, that puts us to six, and then they'd kill us. <laughs> so, Char would also. Okay. We still have one card in hand. Yikes. This feels bad. It's awkward. <laughs> that is a good one. Also a good one. Good for you. I like that we can play Recurring Nightmare, sack the beast token to get back Thrag Tusk. Not terrible. Or we can just block here. Seems bad. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got a one. We basically need this to survive, right? They gave us another land. What can we get with natural order? 
One, two, three, four. Oh, actually, this could be good. Hold on. We'll attack for three. We might not be dead here, which could be very, very good. Okay, please stop, mouse. I really need to play this game. <laughs> I understand that you're... Okay, yep. Trying not to die here. Okay, we're going to go one, two, three, four. Natural order U. Woodfall Primus. Kill this. Land. Recurring Nightmare. Sack. Get back Thrag Tusk. Sack Woodfall Primus. And kill one of your lands. That seems good. Uh, I think so would have been good, but I think Woodfall Promise is probably just better killing. We have to kill the shrine. Oh, you're just gonna lightning bolt us. All that work for nothing. <laughs> Cool. Your last two cards were Lightning Bolt, Hell Rider. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, I don't hate this hand. I don't love it. We need another black source. We have ten, like nine to ten black sources in the deck, which is pretty unreal. I feel like this deck is missing something, despite having a lot of powerful things. Like shoulder's just actual terrible through the breach target. Like it just oh, I'll cool. I'll deal six damage. You get none of the triggers. I guess you actually get a trigger if you at end of their turn. You can Vraska's contempt or uh, through the breach shoulder. That's a nice through the breach target. I mean, unfortunately, we don't have anything to do for two turns, and we have to hope they don't counter it, but, you know, other than that, what could go wrong? Thing in the ice. Well, if that's not indicative of you having infinite counter spells, I don't know what is. So I think we can actually go Vraska's Contempt end of turn and see if they counter it. In case you didn't see, GOG is giving away Soma. I don't know in any of this. Guardians of the Galaxy is giving away uh, Soma for free. It's my favorite horror game of all time in case you're looking for... I don't, I don't actually know what any of those words mean in that sentence.
Yeah, I actually did know about GOG. Um, because they actually sent me some free CD keys for like a Witcher role-playing game. Those are some good old games. Okay, 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 okay. I actually haven't played The Witcher yet. We, I was talking about this the other day. It's just so long. It's just daunting. I was just like, oh, this is such a long game. I don't have the 600 hours to devote to this game, even though I really, really want to. Oh, that, that went well. Oh, do 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 I don't really want to throw the breach here. This guy. I know you have a counter spell for this guy. What if this is just bait and I had nothing? Whoa, it's not bait. I have something. If they had a counter spell, I feel like they would have countered this guy. So. Actually, let's just add another threat. We'll just make this forest a 4-4. Four, four. All right, I got to sacrifice this guy. And pops right back. Done. Oh, you're going to pay costs. Dismember. All right. So I so I got a Sheldock Isle, a Dismember, and a Steam Vents for one through the breach. That seems like a good deal. And four life. Wow. Actually, ten life. Ten life total, right? And they took one off Flooded Strand. Wow. So through the breach was like... Through the breach was like ten life, two lands, and Dismember. And we win the game. That seemed good. I'm not a, I'm no mathematician, but that seemed uh, pretty, 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 pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. I'd actually be tempted to keep this if Elves of Deep Shadow, if we had if we had a green source here. Okay. I mean, it's slow, but it's got all the colors we want. Keep that on top. Nice. We did get the card under Sheldock, but that's not really a card that they had. That's not a resource that they expended, so it doesn't actually count as card, and card advantage per se. That is a good one. Desperate Ritual Island? Eh, it's not exciting. 
We're also out of lands. So now we have to hit we have to hit land land. I guess one land actually lets us play this and a second land lets us play this. I'm probably just going to kill that dude. Well, that's not good. Biggie, good luck on your tattoo appointment, buddy. I hope you kill it. Oh, that's a card. Let me untap into this one time. Thank you. I'm just going to untap because I don't want them to actually like dismember a forest or something. That seems like it'd be sad. Thankfully, all the creatures in our hand are creatures now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If we draw another green, we can play. We can almost play Ulamog. Uh, it's still it's still enough for Woodfall Primus. Or we can just play Primeval Titan. Get two forests. One, two, three, four, five, six. Untap four. That doesn't really do much though. I feel like it's just got to be Woodfall Primus here, right? Got a bad feeling about this one. And nothing happened. Okay. Well, all right, so they didn't counter Woodfall Primus. <laughs> so I guess the other ones are probably good too. Any land, and now we can get to go. We, this was, so we had nine mana. A forest lets us cast Ulamog next turn. God, we're good at this game. One, two, three, four, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Start from the bottom, now we're here. Seems good. Yep, that... This is destroy, not exile? Oh, God. This Ulamog's terrible. <laughs> I mean, I guess on the bright side, it still lets us... Uh... It gets us keep Nissa because they only have one power in the air. But if they draw, like, land, control magic, or sower of temptation, then we're just like, oh, this is awkward. Or even, like, Phyrexian Metamorph or Phantasmal. Okay, I guess we just win the game. I guess they had to have it there. Like, we gave them one turn because of Annihilator, so. Uh, well, I cared about... I literally mentioned it in the stream. I said I, I thought it was Exile. If it was Exile, then I'm going to get rid of the guy so we can keep our Chandra, but... Or our Nissa. However, it was not, so. So we're doing it. We're living the dream here. Uh, yeah, definitely keeping this hand. This is perfect. Double black, we have a red. We have a one drop into a three drop. Our through the breach is super, super online right now. Yeah, that's got to be better, right? I want to watch, but I also want more YouTube videos I haven't seen. God, that struggle's real. I mean, I put two out a day. There's got to be some you, you miss, right? Okay, well, we're definitely bringing an Ancient Grudge here. Yikes. That's a yikes for me, dog. It's actually not bad, although we don't have double green here.
aka big fan. A video every night before bed. Well, I'm glad I can lull you into your into your slumber, my friend. Do I kill any of these things? I want to kill this copter just because I think it's good. But I think we can take a hit off copter and not really worry about it too much. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Well, this is six mana next turn. So if we draw like Primeval Titan or something, it's very good. Uh, well, considering I only have one red, I will not pay two. You got it. Oh, they didn't do anything. Wow, I'm glad I didn't kill her. <laughs> yikes. That's a yikes for me, dog. <laughs> um. I kind of like dropping this dude here because it lets us play natural order next turn if we get it. And I don't really want to go get uh, I don't really want to go get uh, an Elves of Beep Shadow with my Eternal Witness, so that guy can't even crew. Oh man, now I do want to get it with my Eternal Witness. Good lord, double black, we don't even have it. That's brutal. Good night, Scrover. Good night, Bober. Oh, man. I have no idea what to do here. We're not attacking. We're not going to Woodfall Primus. We can't Ulamog. We can't. Like, do we cast Eternal Witness or Maelstrom Pulse here? We can probably cast Maelstrom Pulse, and it gives us something to do next turn with our thing. Let's get rid of the Copter, I guess. It just gives us a, a, a thing to do with our Eternal Witness. Because I don't just want to not play something this turn, not play something next turn. Also, if we hit a land, if we hit a swamp, we can play Eternal Witness and him to Torok, which is nice. They also take a nine off of the off of the mana crypt, which is pretty sweet. Maybe we just died. Maybe they just died of their own mana crypt. Well. Yeah, let's just get uh, Maelstrom Pulse. And we also have two points here. So if they go to nine, or if they go to eight, rather, then we can put them to six, and then it's just two hits. Let's see if they just kill themselves with anything. Oh my god, are they literally just going to lose their own mana crypt? This is gas, dude. We've done nothing. What do they have in their hand? They have two cards in their hand? Are they lands? <laughs> Big fan, by the way. Well, this is gonna be awkward. If they had if they had Restoration Angel, they probably should have played it turn. Oh, it's literally nothing but lands, yikes. All right, you're on a two turn. You're on a two turn clock. 
Here we go. Oh my god! <laughs> Lost every flip. <laughs> oh god, this is amazing, dude. Oh man, dude. Let's see. It's not gonna like if if they die, they die. Like being at one or being at at three doesn't matter when the mana crypt is around. That's amazing, dude. So we only dealt them two points. Oh, they won the flip. They get to live. So they're one five in flips. They've lost five flips and one, and then they lose lightning versus lightning themselves. Classy, a classy way to win the game. Well, Ancient Grudge is definitely coming in. I think Abrupt Decay is probably coming in, too. The problem with Recurring Nightmare in our deck is we don't have any ways to discard it, really. So we can't actually throw a Woodfall Primus into the graveyard and then get it back early. Like, we have to actually cast it, let those things die, and then... That being the case, I'm going to get rid of Recurring Nightmare. Probably get rid of Shieldred too, I guess. Maybe Shieldred's very good though. <sighs> Maybe Varaska's Contempt. Yeah, the Varaska's Contempt seems get ridable. We all—I mean, we already have Assassin's Trophy and Dreadbore and Maelstrom Pulse for Planeswalkers, so. hate this hand. I'll keep it. We have an answer for one of the early things. We have a Xenagos into a Thragtus. The only thing I don't like about this hand is Shieldred. Ooh, alright. Double green. Oh, Through the Breach Primus was sweet. You you should have been here if you were not. That was a that was a moment. And then we sacrificed it. It killed a second land and got to, got to keep a 5-5. Five five. Yep, that's cool. Thanks for being in my hand, Progenitus. Where's my... I can't actually... Yep. All right. So here we go. Come on. Oh, it's doing it again. Look at this. Look at this. This is me moving in a straight line across the screen. That is unbelievable. So next time they get to play a seven drop. That's scary. They did not. Well, that's good for us, I guess. This is where we make a guy, they play Resto, they block the guy, and then they kill the Xenagos, and Resto's like the perfect creature. I am afraid of a Resto. Or an Archangel Avacyn would also be... Oh, nothing happened. Seems good. Unexpectedly. Oh. First lightning. Sure. Yeah, so the problem is once Progenitus hits your hand, you're just like, okay, well, my hand gets worse and my natural order gets worse. But we are up a game, so I guess we got that going for us. A Satyr and a Thrag Tusk for a beast. That's actually, that's pretty reasonable. This is also pretty reasonable. Also, if we draw one land, we get the shoulder next turn. Mox Ruby? You kept a Mox Ruby in your hand? What's going on right now? I 
I see. Land. Give me a land. That's beautiful. We actually have a bunch of ways to deal with a moat, thankfully. Uh, we have Assassin's Trophy. We have Maelstrom Pulse. Abrupt Decay does not do it, unfortunately. That's not the bait. I mean, they just have to sack a dude every turn, right? So. I don't really want to commit any more guys to the board. I do kind of want to just kill this, because we can't attack into it, so we have no real way of dealing with it. Woodfall Primus as well. Yeah, so we have a bunch of... Uh... Uh, Elspeth Emblem makes all their things indestructible. It makes artifacts, creatures, enchantments, and lands you control have indestructible. Okay, so they have no cards in hand. Pulse one time. Oh, we're so close. So close. Like we still have Assassin's Trophy and Maelstrom Pulse, right? Yeah, all right, cool. That should be all we need. None of these guys can attack, though. I don't want to play a Rafelos. I kind of do, actually. We have six, but I'll kind of—I'll probably play Rafelos next turn. Um, because if we hit, if we draw Woodfall Primus, we still need to draw another land. So. We also need a third green. Okay, that's probably better than our fellows here. All right, well, we got three three cards that we need to hit. before they hit like Terminus or Day of Judgment or something. All right, well. How close are we to casting this Progenitus? Red, red, black, black, green, green. One blue, okay. So like three colors away? We got black, black here, green, green here. Red, uh, hmm, no, too many blacks. Red, red, green, green, black, black, blue. So yeah, three colors away. If we could find a way to make a two whites and a blue, we're uh, we're doing it. Actually, we're still one away with a heartbeat, which is unfortunate. Seems good. I can't imagine you don't put servos into play though, right? But she ordered. Oh, also we have four outs because we have natural order to get Woodfall Primus. So we have Natural Order, Woodfall Primus, Abrupt uh, Maelstrom Pulse, and... Alright, well, we just keep getting... Rich keep getting richer. Shut up and take my money! Okay. Frankenport, love you stream CX in the chat. Thanks so much, John Freeman. Really appreciate it. CX is in the chat. That is correct. I have no idea what's going on. Ulamog works too. Dang. Do we have enough mana for Ulamog though? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're not there. 11. No, we do. Yep, so we have 5 outs now. Ulamog. <laughs> 5 out of 19 cards. That's over 25%. Except they're going to go like Marshall Coup here, and then it's going to be pretty bad. They're just going to hard cast Emrakul. Hmm. 
That is a yikes for me, dog. But we're not dead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can actually sack one of these. Eh, you, you, that's three, four. I don't want to sack either of these guys. Actually, we can probably sack Elves of Deep Shadow. So this is what, one, two, three, four, five, and probably one more Swamp. Because now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and Rafelos makes a bunch more mana, so. I'm gonna get rid of this because it actually gets rid of three mana. So it's a, it gets rid of one for Talarian Academy and the two it makes. Freedom Cobra, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. It's gonna be Woodfall Primus. Nissa. Okay, so we can actually go one, two, three, uh, four, five. Untap three, and yeah, we can just go. Well, she just dies to Angel, I guess. So we're probably just gonna go Necrotal. Are you going to have Restoration Angel blink it? Because that would be hilarious. Through the Breach. Black Wisp. Oh! oh, that was gas. That's impressive. That'll do, pig. That'll do. How is that real life? What even happened? Yeah, everything here seems fine. I mean, I think our removal for... I don't think we have to... I'm not really going to sign in a duplicate just for an Emrakul. You guys realize that they just hard cast Emrakul and that it wouldn't have happened if we drew any of our outs for Moat, right? And that we're actually in pretty good position otherwise. Keep... Babe, I'm leaving... Must be on my way. I'll be lonely without you. I mean, if we get to go Xenagos make a guy, natural or the guy, we could just live the dream. Nope. And now we have the double green for that dream. The double green dream. That's what I always say. They also don't have any mana acceleration here, which is super nice. Oh, I think we're just running away with this. One, two, three, four. Nope, that's going to be a red. That's a red for me, dog. Create a little, little gentleman. This is where they go. Burst lightning, lightning strike, and then we're dead. Oh no. Do you just kill my Xenagos? My Xenagoose? Hmm. See, we can get Progenitus here, but we know they have Wrath of God in their deck. So, I actually think it's just better to get Woodfall Primus because we get to kill their Ajani Vengeant. We could also just kill their red mana. That is a good point. And then we can actually just attack a Johnny next turn. But it's definitely Woodfall Primus. 
Because they're going to tap one of our lands down, but it's not going to really do much. If they have Path, though, and they get to keep a Johnny, then we still have Assassins. We have to, actually, we have two ways to deal with a Johnny, so... I'm not super concerned with that. Yep, that's fine. Joke's on you. I had another land. <laughs> Let's hit this dude. Um, am I an eggnog kind of guy? No, eggnog, the idea of eggnog is weird to me. Uh, let's go to declare attacks. Attack your a journey. Let's get him. Chain lightning and a blank. That's sad. Shielded getting back nothing is pretty sad. So if they actually get to, like, really kill Woodfall Primus, it's... Okay. Well, if they make a 4-3, we're just killing that thing immediately. We don't want to Assassin's Trophy because I don't want you to really have a red mana. I guess we could just play Shielded here, which is pretty strong. Oh, good times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, shielded. This seems good. It gives him two turns to deal with uh, shielded. Yeah, we're going to take four here. And then they're going to Wrath of God. Woodfall Primus will come back and kill this. It did not. So they're going to Path to Exile this guy again. Like you do. Pretty sure they just block Shielded here. And they get the... They don't have red though, so they can't actually pump it. Yeah, that seems fine. We're just going to press our advantage. If you draw Wrath of God, it's fine. We still got a Woodfall Primus and we get to kill your Basalt Monolith, so. But this is what, 12, 14 damage? And we still have six lands, so it's not like we're behind on lands at that point. You ever watch Enter the Battlefield? What do you mean? Oh, that's sad. What do you get rid of? Shoulder to Woodfall Primus. Woodfall Primus. God, I hate. Are you talking about the show or the movie? Because I've seen the show. Yeah, of course. I mean, who hasn't seen Enter the Battlefield? I'm actually, I was in the movie Enter the Battlefield. It's on Netflix. So, the answer is yes. God, this progenitus, man. I mean, they'd have to find an answer to Shieldred. Thank you. The third tale with the five gifted subs. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Six, seven, eight, they go to five. All right, seems good. Oh, that's sad. But now we have a guy to get back Thank with children, which is pretty cool. And they have one card in hand. So this is what? One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mana. Ooh, that's scary. But even if we kill, we can kill the Basalt Monolith. The Assassin's Trophy gives them double red. They already have double red. So they get a land. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna risk it because I, I don't want them to just go, just play a a moat and then just have no way to deal with it. Saber, thank you so much for the gift sub as well. Really appreciate it, guys. You guys are great. Oh my god, stupid progenitus, dude. I'll be lonely without you. Oh, did they do nothing with it? All right. I like it. Let's get our fellows back. Hey, now we're talking. That should seal the deal, because that's a lot of... Sure. Uh-huh. Okay, so this does leave at the end of the turn, though. So I think we're still okay. Well. He's the only one with real space in my heart. I accept that. So this guy gets sacrificed to EOT. All right, thank goodness. Can't say, I got payment. I did not see. Oh, uh, yeah, I, actually, both of those things are correct. I did see it. I got it today. Wow, this is brutal. This match is really grindy, dude. Rafelos, they're they're okay. They're at they're at five, so it's a two turn clock with elves and Rafelos on board. Well, your answer with that is one third total rent. What do you mean? Yep, that's what we were afraid of. That's pretty good. I guess we can get back Shieldred here, which seems pretty good. Um, we can also just get back Xenagos. Xenagos probably seems even better. Xenagos lets us attack this turn. Let's do that. Natural order, we couldn't cast this turn. So we're not going to get that back. Green and red. And now they have to deal with Xenagos and the 2-1. The Seven fifty is divided among three people, yeah. So it's probably about twenty two hundred a month. Like our, our rent is like fourteen fifty, fifteen hundred, and then with utilities and everything else, like my portion of the of the rent is about seven fifty. So But yeah, I mean all things all things included, we probably pay about twenty four hundred a month. Split three ways with utilities, yes, correct. Oh, I don't live in Seattle. I have not lived in Seattle for about three years now, so. Xenagos does only make red and green, unfortunately. Oh, what did they say? Hold on. Dang it. Close that. Go back to the game. Oh, I can't type anymore. Oh, I can. Oh, but it's not going to show up. Cool. Good game, Merlin. I will go. <laughs> nice. 
Perfect, perfect. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. I'm just ending this, ending the video. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Twitch and Patreon in the links in the description below. You can also check out MeUndies.com slash uh, Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. So pretty good deal there. And if you're looking for that kind of product anyway, you have no reason not to check it out. And go through the affiliate link. It helps you out. It helps me out. Everybody wins. And uh, you can also check out AaronKaneCustomBoxes.com. The link is in the description below. And um, if you use promo code Frank, you'll get 10% off. He actually just posted some sweet commander deck boxes made of uh, a really nice wood. I'm not sure what it was called. I forgot. But it, they looked great. They had a little window in the front for your commander art to show. And uh, you can actually... There's a dice area on the bottom that you can slide out and put dice in. It's pretty amazing. Like, they're really great. And they were a good deal for 80 bucks. And you get 10% off that with promo code Frank. So be sure to check his stuff out if you're in the market for that kind of thing anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time.